All right, guys, it's been a while since I gave you the news about me moving to Florida full time. And we've been down here for about two weeks now and we've had our hands full. There's so much that we've been working on, so much that we've been getting done, getting ready for when my little brother gets down here too. So you can see that there's some furniture here. Well, it lucked out because we bought the place that was like fully furnished, but it's definitely not our stuff. So we have our pod coming that's gonna have all of our furniture and all the other stuff in like the next, I don't know, week or something like that. So for now, this is what we're doing. We can see, uh, my birds is hanging out right there on the edge of the table. We bring her around to different spots of the kitchen to, uh, I don't know, make it interesting for her. Um, give you guys a quick little view of uh, Benny over here. He's hanging out on the couch. He's absolutely huge right now. I'm going to do an update very, very soon for you. I'm going to show you guys everything that he's been doing in Florida, which has been absolutely insane. I swear to you, seeing him sleeping like that is very, very rare. Now, you can see over here, I have my projector set up, and this has been very convenient because there was like no TV, like no smart TV when we moved here. So instead of like having to go and buy a TV for like three weeks, so I figured I would just bring my projector, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm able to watch YouTube and all that other stuff on there. But the rest of the house, though, it's in pretty good shape, but we've had to do a lot of things. Like, uh, let me show you this um, refrigerator over here. Any of you refrigerator people out there, you guys might recognize this, but it's Sub-Zero. Uh, apparently they are like the best refrigerators there are. So this refrigerator was like a little bit broken. You can see right here, it's like an older piece. The ice in the water part does not work. And one of the biggest problems was that it was leaking at the bottom every couple days. So we had a technician come by and he actually told us that this refrigerator right here, this setup is like a $14,000 refrigerator. He said it's like, it's an older unit, but he said they were made very, very well. And that he said to replace the stuff and it should be perfect fine so it actually costs us a thousand dollars just to get it fixed which is uh kind of annoying but it turns out it's like a top of the line refrigerator which i had no idea about so pretty cool to say the least but I'll show you quickly in here this is the bedroom area well this is where i've been staying at so like it was a bed that came in it and, like I, I really don't like sleeping in beds that aren't mine so it's can't wait until I can get my bed put in here, but for now it'll do perfectly fine. So next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys in the garage where I have all my bike setups and I've been doing so much riding out here in Florida. So let's go check it out. So the best part about being in Florida has been riding every single day. Now it is super, super hot here, but we ride in the morning and we ride at nighttime. We try to do that consistently as long as it's not raining. So in the morning, it's been beautiful consistently, but at nighttime, it tends to get a little bit darker, a little bit more of like a storm coming through, but the rain usually doesn't last too long. And most of the time you can get a ride. In, so, but let me quickly go over my garage setup. You know, like there's a lot of things I was able to bring with me that I have here, but there's so much stuff that I'm waiting for it to come in. But I do have a pretty good setup of bikes right now and I'm excited to show you guys some different ones that you've never seen before so let's get to it so on this side of the garage is like all my junk and all my tools I was able to get at least one of these small things and bring a few of the tools in the car with me to make sure I have some stuff to be able to handle out what I need to up here I have a couple of my clip shoes you can see my SPD ones are right there um, but just random tools for the most part over here I have a couple tripods I have a bike rack and my pump right here and then over here is my main bike this is my Candale bad boy you guys have seen this one on the channel before such a cool bike I love how it has the lefty it's a hardtail but it's got also got the belt drive and it's got the eight speed in it great great bike and this is the one that I've been riding every single day and it's been really cool going on a bunch of different rides as well one of the rides that we went on recently was in a town called Bonita Springs down by the beach it's called Bonita Beach Road now it's a beautiful ride because there's so many amazing beautiful houses to look at but there's a really nice bike path that goes on the side as well and what's really cool about it is there's a bunch of public accesses for the beach so we were able to ride into it then we can go and check out the water right there which is beautiful to see but my Cannondale bad boy is the bike that I've been riding the most down here and now I was telling you guys about a new bike that I was getting well I got it right before we left and Maddie and BK are actually hooking it up they're making it perfect so that when Maddie comes down here I'm gonna be able to get that bike and ride it with him I'll do a big debut soon on it it's such a cool bike and yes it is electric I'm really excited about it but let me show you the rest of the bikes that are here so moving on from the bad boy you can see right here is the cost electric bike now this bike actually came with the house so this one right here is like a 14 inch wheel and it goes like 15 miles an hour the most annoying part about it is that it beeps like it has like this weird annoying beep sound almost like it's about to self-destruct while you're going that fast but it's a really really awkward bike man it's just so weird how it folds and just looks kind of goofy but to be honest with you i really enjoyed being able to just jump on this thing and just go cruise around so we decided to switch things up a little bit 
and I actually got my own electric bikes. Now this right here is the Juiced Rip Racer. Now I've been eyeing up this bike for a little while now, and the coolest part about it was the fact that it looks like a BMX bike. It doesn't look like a crazy looking bike like that one. So I ended up buying these bikes myself. I ordered these all my own. And you can see I have two of them. I have a black one back there, and I also have this green one. Now this bike is awesome. This thing goes 20 miles an hour on throttle only. So it's just got a regular throttle, just like a dirt bike would, or what's really cool about it, it's got a headlight, it's got brake lights and you just use that battery right there you just recharge it turn it on and it's really fast and really really smooth the quality of the parts was really good so the brakes feel really nice and also the fat BMX tires are just so cool and at least it looks like a BMX bike so me and my wife have been riding these bikes around town it's just really convenient to just run to a store and whatnot so you can lock them up and uh, you can also put some bags on it and whatnot so really really cool bikes moving on to this side we have a couple of junky beach cruisers that came with the house you can see there's a couple of uh, huffy that's over there in the corner. I don't even know what kind of bike that is, but they're in decent shape. They still work. And then over here is my Cannondale 29 inch bike. You guys might remember me riding this one in the beginning days of the channel. I did that one video when we were riding around Allaire, had so much fun on it. Since then, it's been modified. It used to be a single speed, but BK ended up putting a derailleur on it and making it a geared bike for me to get a little bit more speed. So now over here are my wife's bikes. So this is the Cannondale Treadwell. She loves this bike just because it's like a little cruiser you see it's got a decent tire on it it's thick enough but it's not too thick where like it'll slow you down so you can get some speed on it the quality is really good it's got hydraulic brakes on it um, really really solid bike but over here my wife just got this bike this is a Trek FX4 now this is a carbon fiber bike it's got a really cool green color to it got my wife clipped in now she's doing fantastic with it now this bike just looks more aggressive and just a really really nice quality just riding bike she's been going so fast on it as well so we have so many bikes in here it's just so crazy to see all of them but it's been so cool being able to ride non-stop but we're having so much fun riding them it's so cool to take a break off of filming the videos and just focus on just riding and just focus on building this house and making it right as well I'm gonna show you guys we got so much stuff that we've gotten in I've had to build with my wife like right here she just got this bench thing and we're sitting here building it together we've been sweating the whole time doing it but it's been a lot of fun and we got another thing for the house that we're gonna be building building up uh, I guess in the next couple days or so and I know there's a lot of pieces that are inside that box right now but that's been my life for the past two weeks now was just trying to just have fun ride my bike but also get everything ready before my little brother gets down here we have so much work to do we're getting somebody to come in and put trim around the whole house he's repainting the whole entire house I just had somebody show up here and do the electric out here so that my dad can plug his camper in when he comes down it's also a charging setup so my brother can plug his Tesla in when he's ready to come back down and yes I forgot to tell you guys that but his Tesla finally came in after a year of waiting. He finally got rid of the WX and he has a new Tesla and I'm so happy for Maddie. I'm so proud of him as well. So I just wanted to do this quick video just to give you guys an update and let you guys know that we are going to be starting to put out videos now. I'm going to try to get at least two videos a week. So Maddie's up in New Jersey with my spare camera. So he's going to be filming a video for you guys as well. And I'm going to edit it together and make something for you. So at least we can keep the channel going during this time away from each other. But things are going good so far and this break is something I need to do. This is a part of my life. I'm ready to move forward with. Living in Florida has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So to finally get a chance to do it again, like I'm super excited about this one. So guys, just wanted to give you a quick fill in, get ready for the video. It should be out by the end of this week. And also in that video, I'll tell you guys some more things about living in Florida, what it's like down here. As you can see, I'm doing this video and I'm just sweating so bad on my face. <laughs> the heat is real guys. It really is. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace.